you're in politics, you know how this is going to play. They're going to say Democrats dealt a humiliating loss to a president when he's down. Oh, I don't think so. I think they're going to say a senator just said that the president's agenda is insanity. Uh -huh. uh, and why should one senator stop what 96% of Democrats agree on and the president? Um, and I really think we have to think about this. You know, I'm just going to put aside personalities <laughs> and say, <laughs> I know it's hard, right? But we have to think about why we're here. We are here to make transformative change for people in a moment of tremendous crisis. We are here to deliver on climate change. We are here to deliver on health care. We are here to deliver on paid leave and child care so women can get back to work. We are not going to leave people behind. But I just mean in terms of the broader negotiations, I mean, are you confident that if, if infrastructure doesn't get a vote, coming out of this, you can have a real conversation with the Joe Manchins or that Biden can have a well, real conversation? Well, he understands that he's not the only one that has power with a slim majority.